as long as I don't miss another rune, I could do another playthrough. Just get that one and still get the achievement. I think. I hope. Possibly. Again, my playthrough. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Bad things happen to good people, apparently. Um... Okay. I was like, is it gonna bring me to the other place? Like the trial? Oh, what the? Hello! This time, a mask. What is it? What does it see? Get closer. Okay. You need to see what the mask sees. Stay back. Don't touch it. You're curious. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. It's another world. And it's the like bridge is up. It's the bridge. Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Okay, so there's a total of six. You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. He's waiting for you. Always said Guessing. He's Crossing close. that bridge only to lower this bridge here. He loves Perhaps. you. I'm you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. Yeah, because it looks like the gate's gone. Yep, gate's gone. I love the fact that one rule is Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. What's behind the gate? Who knows what's behind the gate? Perhaps the gate's behind the gate. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through. Seems so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. 
Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? Wait, wait. I did wait, not ask the mistletoe. Baldur's mother confesses. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Does it feel warm? Do you feel safe? Dillian loves you. Okay. Do you remember the way he stroked your hair? Up, so probably from that window, cast it down there. Oh, Senwa, you've got it. Oh, I can't go up. Why isn't he here? There's a gate He's gone. there. He's in the dark world. He saw that she was in the dark world. You were in the wrong world. You remember meeting him beneath the tree. The dark world, the light world. You know, even the music changes when you go from one world to the other. Or resets at least. You look you can you can see the darkness within you. Yeah, okay, evil voices. and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taken home. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. Seems kind of harsh. That was blind, and Loki was telling him what to do. <sighs> Another one. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Your love because he believed in you. Yeah. 
years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. Oh, I can open that door. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. What is behind the door? And oh. Dillian. Oh. Oh. Really? Dillian. Two realities. He didn't know. Tearing at her soul. You have no time for this. Speed is up. No. The only way that door is opened up is from the other side. Which I can't get to. Oh, there's the other one I'm trying to find. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. So, I have 11 more runes that are available to be found by me. tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, 
that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. He didn't believe that she was cursed. What was that? He saved you when everyone else turned their backs. What if this what? is pointless? What are you doing? If I always avoid this, and there's another way. Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods were lying. I think dogs are a great thing. I have seven of them. They're not that great. Words. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language. You don't understand. Zinbel was right. You're wasting time. You're cursed. You'll never succeed. Slow, slow. Quicker. Non-existence. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. and looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, learned to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Be quick. Be quick. Be careful. Don't go Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You What's give that up about? the beautiful world that you, only you can oh. see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. Take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill you. So, I actually looked it up. There's no reason to fuss trial. So, I actually have to really look. They're going to take it. 
The Northmen say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Where am I? Good question. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm oh, this here. is cheating? It's so quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I think I'm somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. Oh, this is... I've reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Senor. My father. He taught me. The hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. No coward. He took me in the warrior trail. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't for bad. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, I'm not going to be a great warrior. You need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. I can't 
go on this way. Then look for another way and tell me what you find. There is a house. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. Whatever that is, it is freaky as shit. That was terrifying. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. You are in control.
as well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. <laughs> Mad dash? Do I work my way over? I'm expecting something to hop out of this darkness and just freaking kill me dead. <laughs> were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me you found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Yay! It's done. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh god. That sucks. <laughs> With grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. And I've only missed one rune. Which sucks. 
<laughs> I was hoping to get like a first com like complete it in the first round. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials, and she saw a way out. I have no idea how long I have to leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. But years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. Plague. Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. Do you see it clearly now, Senua? The suffering you've caused. This is your fault. You brought this plague to us! You have blood on your hands! They're coming for you now. They're coming. Hold They're coming to get you. Hold it. Hold the heavy strike. I was gonna stop right here, but apparently I'm gonna be in a fight and I don't wanna continue on with during a fight. Waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed minds. saved. I'm gonna call it here. And this horrible, horrible, horrible place. So, see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and hit the bell icon.